Hey, what is up guys? Master here, back to do another video, and today I'm going to bring you all another cast of another game. I think you guys are going to enjoy this game very much. And just making sure that I've got sound here. Yeah, I do. I just went into this without really checking anything. Anyways, it's going to be Tiberium Rift. I'm going to be playing as the Zocom. My opponent will be Reaper17. This game was crazy, just like the last game. You're going to see stuff that you probably haven't seen before. And this game is no exception. So nothing out of the ordinary so far. Just me taking over my tip spike. Uh, I did talk more during this game, but uh, nonetheless, I will provide you all with some dubbed commentary. Had a bit of interference from my microphone when I was recording. Not sure what that was. Maybe it's the computer. I don't know. But... Yeah, I rather enjoyed playing these games here. I had a few games against Phoenix afterwards, and there's a couple games I would like to share with you all that I played against Phoenix. Uh, you guys are going to be enjoying those ones as well. Phoenix, of course, one of the best players in Kane's Draft of all time, despite his current form, but he did play better on that occasion that I played him. But uh, he is not the player he was four years ago when he won the... Decade Cup Tournament. He beat Technique in the semi. He beat me in the Grand Final. So, uh, you got to give him credit, man. <laughs> he's a really good player. But this is not Phoenix. This is Sir John. And he's actually improved quite a bit in Kane's Wrath in recent times. So, I'm going in here with my Rifle Scouts. I don't want to send all three in because he can just put down a Buzzer Hive and kill all the squads. And I was going to do a rig rush this game. It, this game, I was really eager to do one. And whenever you see me expand to the middle Tiberium field first, it's always going to mean I'm going for a rig because it allows me to put my airfield closer to the border of the map. And that means my Bloodhound ability will spawn in from that um, side of the map. So it will come, it will spawn from the bottom of the map rather than the right side of the map, if I put it elsewhere. As you see, I've got night lights on my command post. This is nothing new, but if you don't have the 4K mod, then uh, the way you get these lights on your buildings is by downloading it. And yeah, you need to have the R18 maps installed. It's only a feature on R18 maps. I thought it was rather cool putting those lights on the command post. I found it on the... Uh, concept art or early screenshots of Tiberium Wars, they dropped it, but uh, I put it back in there. Same with the Hand of Nod lanterns that appear when you get Confessors or Black Disciples. So I'm going for Grenadier APCs, which is already something out of the ordinary, guys. You have to admit, Grenade APCs with AP ammo. The reason I'm doing this is because a lot of players seem to rely on these photon cannons, and photon cannons is really what kills the rig with that cannon damage. So, I'm going to make a bunch of grenade APCs, but he's going to have a lot of shard walkers by the time I get there. But I feel like I should be okay dealing with that. Uh, in hindsight, I could have probably done one or two things differently here, but uh, my opponent would need to be reacting to this on three refineries if he decides to go dev tanks on two refineries then obviously what i'm doing here is less likely to work but i see he's building shard walkers uh, he can't go seekers ap ammo apcs would just crush that completely he didn't make any seekers which was uh, not something i wanted to see so look how quick that photon cannon fell to those grenades inside of the apcs now he's got these shard walkers he's actually Rather smart here, trying to avoid both of the cannons on the Guardian, on the Brig. He is trying to aim down the APC. Unfortunately, I didn't get the evac. That Photon Cannon is trying to kill my Rig here. He's actually doing a lot of damage to it. Here comes a bunch of Disintegrators as well. Rig getting really low on health. A lot of those Shardwalkers as well getting low on health. Uh, if I had built an APC Engineer, or just another APC and put an Engineer in it, I probably could have got the heal on that rig and then the push would have continued he probably wouldn't have had enough to stop it then because i would have had these three grenade apcs still alive the rig would have been alive he would have lost a lightning spike 
he would have had to have dev tanks. So I think in the future, when I'm doing this exact same strategy, I will, I should queue a, a fifth APC just to put an engineer inside of it. But as crazy as I am, what an absolute madman I am. I'm going for another rig. <laughs> what? I don't remember this. So I'm going for another rig instead of ecoing up. Okay, let's see how this goes. I, I don't remember this. I remember the last part of the game, but not, not the second rig. He's got a tier three down, so that means immediately that a storm column will be dropped and he's gonna be able to stop that rig. But the storm columns do rocket damage. Rigs have got tons of rocket damage resistance. So not ideal. He needs a tripod. Got these grenade AP still, it's APC still alive. Could have sent those back to base, really. Could have used those later on. Got the EMP grenades upgrade. Grenades have more utility later on because of that EMP grenade upgrade. But I thought they did decently there. I did kill a couple photon cannons. Could have been better though. Storm Column gets dropped. He does get splash damage on my Pred tanks. I see a Mechapedia in my base. I immediately get a Force Fire on that head with the Watchtower. Watchtower is not supposed to counter vehicles, but this is Game Draft, so anything is possible. That Mechapede not being micro because he's trying to kill this rig here. Uh, no APCs for me to kill the Disintegrators, so this double portal is going to shut this down rather quickly. I decided to move in with my Pred tanks. I thought, okay, I've got the healing there with the rig. Uh, I can maybe crush these descents and kill the portals while I get repaired near that rig, but it wasn't enough. He started to queue descents from the other portal, and now the rig is doomed. I really should have sold the rig, because you can sell it and get a bit of cash rebate. So I got $200 there. Not ideal. I do have an expansion. Uh, eco, not that great. Haven't been harvesting blue tiberium. I've got the hammerhead just to clean up these descents because hammerheads are exceptional at this job. And if you do a waypoint, you can kill them even quicker. So the descents will fall. And I'm not going to halt the attack. The attack will continue. There's tripods coming out. I see tripods and I'm like, okay, guys, I'm, I'm too far away from tier three. I need to go for infantry. I need to go for Zocom Orcas. I need to throw the Kitsch the Sinker in with this tier 2 army of Zocom. Zocom does have him, in my humble opinion, the best tier 2 units in the game. They have Shatterers, they have Zocom Orcas, they have really good infantry, they have cheaper infantry upgrades. Hammerheads with ceramic armor, they have basically the works. Uh, but I did clean up the storm column. One tripod does fall as well with these poultry forces of mine. I'm able to shut down these heavy units. Harvester may get sniped. An engineer gets queued probably to reclaim that husk, which I did kill. You need to make sure you kill husks, man. Otherwise, harassing tripods is for nothing. Storm column gets dropped, so he is in a really good position here. And this game has been absolutely non-stop since the start and it's not gonna stop it's gonna keep on going i got shadow attacks mixed in as well just to kill any mecha piece that i may come across or even shard walkers and i'm getting a couple discord notifications hopefully that isn't feeding through to these audio shouldn't be so i got a couple orcas here uh, and i do see the storm column the one thing about the storm column is you can make it use its main lightning attack on something else. So here I decided to call in an Orca Strike and behind the Orca Strike I'll have the Zircon Walkers. So what the plan is here is I'm going to um, bait the attack with the Zircon Walker Strike and then the Orcas will finish off the Storm Column. I did not lose a single Zircon Walker there. So there's two tripods here. Storm Column Cloud does remain for a while. The phase comes down. He actually gets the Harvesters with that phase. I'm going to be forced to pull back here because he's going to just crush my forces otherwise. I don't have any EMP grenades. Uh, if I did, it's hard to kind of hit the moving tripod. The tripods do move very quickly. And this is very frustrating. I'm moving over my MC because I realize I'm behind in this game. My opponent has a third expansion. Uh, I am trying to get in here. There's a storm column there. Another storm column gets dropped. And he drops another storm comp, so now he's really solidifying his defense. Uh, the one thing he doesn't have here is anti-infantry, but those EMP grenades are going to actually shut down these storm cons for me. Without those columns, uh, without those um, EMP grenades, I would have lost that army instantly. I mean, I'm going to still lose it because there's two tripods there. The storm column does get powered back online. Zocomorka's coming back in. 
I try and get some damage on that tripod, do finish off the tripod, but now unfortunately he's camping my barracks with buzzers. He's even going to get a heroic buzzer, which is unfortunate. And someone is spamming me really hard in Discord. Panda, I'm just going to set my Discord to do not disturb. All right. Put down that wash tower so the storm column forces its uh, fire on it. And I did something quite crafty here. I sold my original airfield so I can spawn in the Orca Strike from this area. Since my airfield is right there, you see, near my MCV. And that means uh, the Orca Strike will be summoned in from the closest airfield. Or the one that you... S s the first airfield that you built. It will always come from that airfield. But because I had one in my base, I had to sell it off. Anyways, this fight is relentless. Absolutely relentless. Here comes more EMP grenades on those tripods. Buzzer heist being dropped. Shardwalkers being queued. He's, at, he's now blocking his buzzer hives with the uh, barracks. He's actually with the portal freaking power plant. Four buzzer hives are now deployed. But I'm queuing wa watchtowers to kill the buzzers that spawn from these buzzer hives. But he's simply got too many hives there. He's going to clean up my infantry with ease. And now I'm in a dire position. He's really... He's got an expansion. He's really solidified here. I don't have any income myself. And I was able to just about EMP that storm column and nail all of the shard walkers with my Zocom walkers. Did you guys just see that? That was insane. I didn't lose a single Zocom walker. And I was even able to reduce his anti-air to just that singular storm column. And this fight is still happening. It is still happening. So I'm going to summon in once again a Zocom Orca Strike. And I'm going to go in for the tripod. If I can destroy the tripods, I will be able to do decently with AP Armor Watchtowers. But that Storm Column is still a problem for me. I'm even focusing down that husk with the Watchtower. And I realize here that I need more EMP grenades. So I can lock down these vehicles once more. Three Zocom Orcas for me. Another tripod comes out. He didn't get shields this game. That was probably one thing that did cost him. I'm glad he didn't. Those shields do take 100% damage of anything. So the AP Ammo Watchtower just, just pinged the shield off in no time. You can see those uh, storm columns are actually deflecting rockets. Kind of cool uh, feature of the storm column. So... Things are still in limbo. I impede the double A defenses. I get the tripod, and I was really thrilled about this. I didn't lose a singular orca once more, and I impede two of its plasma missile batteries and the storm column. If I had not done that, he would have killed all of the Zerka orcas there, and what would I have had left? I would have had nothing, man. He's still in tier three. I would have just had a wall of watchtowers, which he could have cleaned up with a storm column, with a tripod. I'm long leeching Tiberium from my expansion. I'm making it incredibly difficult for him to harvest from his though. And I'm doing this without tier 3. That guiding cannon back there. Just for good measure. And I've got an elite Zocom Walker. This is probably one of the best uses of Zocom Walkers I've had in a while. I really love this unit. This, is, this was a game that made me think twice about making Zocom Walkers cheaper. They are more expensive for a reason. They kind of... Uh, act like bombers since they unload their clip incredibly quickly they probably um, unload as quick as a firehawk with his bombs so that's why I consider them bombers more than anything they also kill infantry really versatile unit count as a lot of stuff good against scrin factions tripod comes out uh, storm column unfortunately I wasn't able to kill this which is extremely frustrating I thought I had this game now but you're going to see that that was not the case. He's got an engineer there and he's going to feed it into the storm column. And that's going to go back to full health. There's now double A batteries with shard launchers. So orcas really are quite useless at this point. Unless I can somehow lock down all of the shard plasma missile batteries. Another tripod does spawn. AP on watchtower is focusing that down. Uh, not doing too much to it though. Uh, tripods there. Getting slowly whittled down by pred tanks i use the radar scan so i can kill the assimilator that spawned 
And I'm desperately trying to kill these husks now. More EMP grenades being made. And I'm not engaging with my Zoka more because I'm just leaving them back there unless I really need them. And I'm desperate, but I'm not going to suicide them in to kill a storm column or a tripod when I can just use pred tanks, which I'm doing here. Storm column will get destroyed finally. And I'm just steadily queuing grenades from this barracks, which will lock down his final tripod EMP totally saved me in this game and when did the action end in this game ever since i built that rig the action was non-stop i don't think i've had a game with so much action without uh without stopping like it was non-stop action as unleashed would say non-stop deadly action epic game hall of fame but i'm I don't, not sure if it was that but it was a really fun game and i wanted to share you it with all i wanted to share it with you all because I thought it was awesome and I was behind economically I was behind in everything and I was able to pull that off so yeah guys hope you all enjoyed that game and if you did then please do drop me a like I would really do appreciate that helps the YouTube algorithm know that this was a good video and it should be shown more on YouTube but yeah this is all for me and I will see you guys next time thank you very much for watching this is Master Leaf. peace out